Good morning. Welcome to Beam Bitka. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Archaeologist from Maharashtra. His name is Dr. Vakankar. A place which has wild trees, wild animals, with fruits growing on the trees, a river nearby, that place has always been inhabited. So Dr. Vakankar eventually discovered 700 rock shelters. Hmm. Isn't that something? Big community. Out of been. 700, 500 have been found with paintings on the walls. Then this place has been occupied till modern period. So till 8th century AD also, there were people who were living, using them as their shelter homes. So most of the colors used were mineral colors. They were using hematite. Hematite, manganese, ochre for red color, mm -hmm. and limestone for white color. And they would mix it with uh, the milky secretion, like a sap from the tree, and water. Now, some of the leaves of these teak trees, like here, you see the teak mm -hmm. leaves, they are very dry right now. But after monsoon, they are very wet and young. So if you just crush one leaf, the whole hand becomes like blood red color. Then Archaeological Survey of India opened only 15 one, five, rock shelters for the visitors to come inside. So we have to follow this path. Okay. Five are closed now because some conservation work is going on. So it's about the snake situation around here with, among all these volcanic rocks. And as you can imagine, yes, it, there is a big snake population, including cobras. Our beehives up there, take a look. The purest form of honey. You know, it's a forest and there. And it says you can scale your hand on the palm impression of a Mesolithic child. Huh. My hand is almost the same. My hand is almost the same as the child's. Let's look at the formation of the rocks. So this volcano subsided, the lava subsided, there was a lot of water. So all these rocks were submerged under water. You see uh, the shape and uh, uh, some of the smoothness on the wall here. Look at these lines moving mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So this is the metamorphic rocks. Actually uh, painting their day-to-day -day life activities. You know, there's, it's an expression of feeling. That is what painting is. Now, uh, the paintings which look like stick figures, eh? very old. When I say very old, that is they are Paleolithic. They would be 9,000 years old. See, there are three men. One, two, three. They are holding hand with each other and are blocking the way of this animal, which looks like a goat. This uh -huh. one. Huh? And behind, there is another man holding a pointed arrow in his hand and he is the hunter who is trying to kill the goat. So this is a complete hunting scene. Very clear. Yeah? It is once you pointed it out. Yeah. Now, down below, bring your eyes down. It's a rectangular body of a buffalo, water buffalo, with 11 number like legs, that's the neck, and the hunter here. See the hunter? He's mm -hmm. standing with an arrow, sharp weapon, and he is trying to kill the buffalo. Now, this is also, see the sketch figure, no? like a stick. They didn't know how to draw a shape, so they're making rectangles and squares and right angles. That's a tiger, you can Our see the stripes. Because, we, see, we just crossed the industrial area. So they are chemicals, so we have acid and rain. You can see. They, they are spoiling. The animals are gorgeous. Bimbeka has more than 600 caves with a collection of the oldest prehistoric paintings in India. Gorgeous formations here. Yes, very perfect nice. caves it would and be a perfect place to so live. Because of the, water. the prehistoric man would pick up a stone mm -hmm. and just do just tick, bang. Tick, tick, tick. His first manifestation, he wants to do something with that stone, hitting it. So you make a hole. Making a <laughs> hole. They don't know what to do. So they are very old. Cup mark, one, two, three, one down. So they call it capules. It looks exactly like, but there are paintings yeah. way up there. Yes, and they would climb up. So they, there were stones there which have fallen down. Mm -hmm. This is that area. Modern, Modern man. man. It is closed. 
conservation work is going on. But that's what they had, Mesolithic period, hunting scenes. Approximately 40,000 tourists come every single year, which is a mere bagatelle. That's nothing for a site like this, foreign tourists. Called Zurak because there are over 200 animal paintings. I think she said 250. Mapahanat. Just wanted to take his permission. And there is superimposition, that is layering of rocks, one over another, like Paleolithic Man must have drawn something here. Mm -hmm. On top of that, Mesolithic man started drawing without rubbing it. And on top of that, Neolithic man started drawing. So, but there are some animal figures which are very strong, powerful. They give that effect that how they would try to express their feelings of hunting or war. Pretty darn incredible. <laughs> Later on top of Yes. Then down below here you see there's a man. He's sitting on a terracotta pot. And he's holding a stick in his hand and he's trying to kill the deer. This, okay. Another highlight is the spotted deer. There on top. Spotted deer. Below the spotted deer, that's a baby elephant. Okay. Below the baby elephant is a bull. Now down below the bull here, that's an antelope. Antelope, and then coming here. This is sambar. Sambar is supposed to have uh, big horns like brackets. This is a cousin of a deer. Sambar is the cousin of the deer. And up above, that's a lizard. Oh, that's what that is. The long, okay. skinny thing. Now, if you move right, then <clears throat> towards my right, left and right side, there is an army. Yeah, they are using horses now. Now, horses oh. is very much Neolithic period because horses came to India 3,200 years ago and Aryans from South Central Asia, they brought horses to India. So this is pretty Neolithic period. Okay? And all the horse riders are holding different kinds of weapons. He is holding a spear. Look at him, spear. Mm -hmm. Then they are holding bows and arrows, lots of bows and arrows. See the sword. So this is the Iron Age. They knew about the iron and how to use them. The thing is, that's a war between two parties, left and right. They were, used to fight for the land. They are killing each other. So war series is going on since ages and ages. That's right, for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, like two pigs. Look at the pig. The yes. pig and a rhino. That's a rhino. If someone is coming, I have to come out. Rhinoceros. Rhino the bull. Nilga. It is found in this forest as well. And lots of figures behind me, which are just a superimposition over each other. There is a very tall man. He's very happy that he has hunted. It's like this. Way there. Actually, yeah, right yeah, there. This man. Right there. Arms, huh? He's happy. He must He's have happy. hunted a big animal. We shall see a lot of shapes, like geometrical shapes. Huh? It's a triangular body up, triangular bottom. And there is a line segment of a waist. A circle is the shape of the head. Right angles are arms and legs. So That, that one is about 5,000 years old. It's my kind of drawing. That's what I could do. I oh, look at that. And the beautiful landscape. Uh, near the horizon, you see the Vindhyanchal Ranges. You could consider it an offering of chickpeas. But somebody just left them there. That's what chickpeas look like before they're... So they are snakes for hotel? Yes, ah. it's between nah. the level yeah. there. Fix your eyes. Take time. It's okay? Yes. Now, there are four horses in a row. First horse is decorated because the chief is riding the horse. And all the riders are holding sticks in their hand or some thick, you know, like a bamboo. All going for hunting animals. Above these four red horses, you see three more horses and the riders. So they would always travel in a group. Safety in numbers, basically. Yeah, very clearly drawn. Huh? I just have to have... I got that man's picture. Okay, the three horses. Guy to your right, see, in red. Yes, wait a minute. I'm still trying to focus, because if I focus in too, too much, then I lose it. That's a leopard. Right above it. 
Now, right side. Move your eyes to right. All right. There is a man. Yes. He's trying to kill a bird. That's a really good picture of a man. Yeah. Really neat. good. Very neat. That's a bird. And then what is it below? It looks like a snake. Now, yes. Yeah, I was coming to that. Okay. But for the right, there's a man. He's holding a circle, like a round stone in his hand. Yes. Because he's killing the snake, as you spotted correctly. You see the coiled uh -huh, body? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, half of the body of the snake is fading because of the acid rain falling on the paintings. You can oh, okay. make out the white color, no? Yes. Acid rain. Yes. Now, further right to the snake is a big bird flying. Yeah. Now, you move your eyes down, is a peacock sitting. The group dance going on. They are holding hand with each other. There are five, six men together. I'm just trying to stay. So Dr. Above. Vakankar has written in his book, he says, might be, huh? Might be is a very nice word in history. <laughs> might be the early man learned to dance that's, by looking at a peacock dancing in the forest. That's so funny. The movements of the peacock's body, they would copy it. The, the peacock went round. Then they feather, would do it. It's like, okay. Round.